These boxes cradle a sequel half a century in the making. Ghost at a Watchman is Harper Lee's first published novel since To Kill a Mockingbird became an instant classic 55 years ago. It's going to be huge. I can't go into too many numbers with you, but it is up there. The reclusive Harper Lee actually wrote Ghost at a Watchman before she struck gold with To Kill a Mockingbird. The manuscript remained forgotten until it was recently discovered by her lawyer, prompting some to believe that Lee never wanted the novel published in the first place. But this documentary filmmaker, who recently made a film about Lee, doesn't believe that. Everyone says unequivocally that Harper Lee is delighted to be publishing this early work uh, and that Harper Lee doesn't do anything that she doesn't want to. The new book picks up 20 years after the events of To Kill a Mockingbird. As the already released first chapter opens, main character Scout Finch is a grown woman living in New York City and visiting her ailing father. She grinned when she saw her first TV antenna atop an unpainted Negro house. But what Lee has done with Scout's father, Atticus, is causing yet another controversy. I've been appointed to defend Tom Robinson. Far from Gregory Peck's idealistic lawyer from the 1962 movie, this Atticus Finch favors segregation and even attended a Ku Klux Klan meeting. Who wants to see a, a figure that you revere turn into an out-and-out -out racist? Uh, it was this disturbing thing, but I'm not going to criticize Harper Lee for doing it. It's a brilliant decision novelistically. A decision Bahram al thinks might make the book especially relevant today. Um, we see racism today everywhere, so I'm not sure why people would get saddened that uh, this character in a time capsule of a book that was written last century actually is racist pushing the envelope with a lost gem by a literary master who has proven herself capable of stirring up both hype and controversy at the age of 89. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.